Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome back to Synth Stuff. Today we've got another box from Liquid Stands. I've got this Liquid Stand here, which uh, I did a review on already. You can see that up here. And that is the second Liquid Stand that I've actually done a review on. This is the first one right here. And that one you can see in a link right up here. This is not a stand, but it is from Liquid Stands. So let's open it up coming up. All right, so let's see what goodies we've got inside this one. Now Liquid Stands is a small American company, American manufacturer of stands. Uh, I believe they're out of Florida and they design and build their own stands. They're extremely high quality and extremely strong. This is not a stand. This is for use with stands. And what we have here, well, it says desktop speaker monitor mounts, which you can see a picture of here. But that said, I have a feeling that these are gonna have uses far beyond just desktop monitor mounts. So here's all the stuff it comes with. As always, uh, we get some stickers, which I'm not gonna show on YouTube because the last time I showed these on YouTube, YouTube uh, killed my video. So they're funny, but uh, apparently YouTube says they're offensive. You also get, of course, a manual and inside it'll tell us how to assemble it. And of course, it'll tell us how hard it is. This is a three and a half drummer difficulty for everyone else, half, half beer difficulty and the instructions. The instructions are typically very good and actually really high quality that they print these on. So let's have a look and see what this does. Here are the platforms. These are the uh, edges. And then in these boxes are the mounts. I will say that I actually have seen what these look like and do. So when I say I have a feeling they're gonna be useful for more than just monitors, that is some uh, inside information and education. I, I already know that they're gonna be good for other things. So here's our screws. Oh, a bunch of wing nuts. Okay, so it looks like this isn't even gonna require any tools to put together. So what we end up with is these very heavy duty supports here. You can see there's a flat surface on the top and then a screw clamp with a flat surface that has felt on the bottom. And that is used to clamp this onto whatever you're clamping it onto. For instance, if you were clamping this onto your studio desk, that's exactly where you, you would do that. Put the desk in there and clamp that in place. Then the top part has two parts to it. The first is kind of like a, a, a speaker stand where you loosen this and then you can push this up. You can either just hold it in place at a given spot just using friction, or if you really have some heavy stuff on there, you can put this pin in there, get it so the pin supports it and then tighten it up. So now we have this the stand and you can also adjust the angle at which it's going to hold whatever it is you're putting it on. Now, the actual stand platforms themselves have a neoprene rubber surface. It's actually a good, uh, I gotta say third of an inch. Maybe uh, it's, it looks like more than a quarter of an inch, but it's a, it's a significant soft surface. So if you have speakers on here, it's not going to resonate through, but it's also kind of non-slip. And that can be mounted in any direction. You can, you can put it on like this, or you can put it on like this, or you can put it on like this, or you can put it on like this. As you can see, there's all kinds of different mounting options. However, you wanna have this mount, this um, clamped onto whatever it is you're clamping it onto. In addition, we also have these edge pieces here that also have the same foam edging and you can put it on this side, or you could put it on this side. So yes, you could set this up so that you have speakers. I mean, if we wanted to put some larger speaker, speakers on there, we could have that on there. Maybe tip it, if we loosen this, we could tip it down towards us. And then we could put this 
at the bottom and that way the speaker isn't going to slide off and that's great. However, you know what else this would be really, really good for is a laptop or a drum machine or even another synthesizer, a small synthesizer. It would fit on here. It's not going to slide off. You can clamp it wherever you want. So these are far more than just a, a um, speaker stand. I mean, yes, they are very, just like every other piece of, of liquid stands gear, they're very, very heavy duty. So you can be able, you're going to be able to put a lot of weight and they're not going to go anywhere, but it's, it's, yes, you can put a great big heavy speaker, monitor speaker on there, but it's, it's good for so much more than that. So you could, in theory, just put this right on the back here, I think. Oh yeah, that'll work great. So now that's on here. And if I wanted to have an extra synthesizer on here or a drum machine or a mixer or something, I could just put that on like that. So yes, I could put speakers on here, but look at the size of these things. This is like an eight and a half by 11. So actually it's bigger than that, but you could, this is a laptop sized platform that you could put anything on and it's sturdy. It's liquid stand. It's not going anywhere. And anything you can bolt this to, it's going to stick to. I mean, if you look at the construction of this, it's, is it steel? I, yeah, it's not aluminum. It's too heavy for aluminum. So this is steel and the hardware is high quality hardware. You can see it's got a carriage bolt with a slider in there. This is all steel. This is steel. Look at the, the weld on it. They really make some high quality gear. I've fastened these to the edge of my counter here and I thought, oh, I'm, I'll just put my weight on them. And yes, I can. I could lift myself up, but my counter, <laughs> I, it's not the stands that will break. It's actually the counter that will break. So uh, I'm not going to try and put my entire weight on there, but they are absolutely rock solid. They're, they're not moving. So then I can take this, for instance, and I could put it right on here. Or actually, well, yeah, let's put it like this one here. And then just a couple of, all, of these wing nuts that they supply. And then I can fasten this on the back with a couple more wing nuts. I don't know if you can see, but you can actually change how far out they go to fit the application. And of course, if I wanted to, I could put it on the short side instead or as well. So now I have this platform here and I can adjust the height of it if, it, if need be. If I want it higher or lower, whatever it needs to be. And then I, I can rotate it. And once I've got it in the correct direction, I can just tighten that up. And then I can loosen this and adjust the friction to adjust the, the angle that I want it at, tighten that up. And now I have a platform I can put my speakers on, laptop on, drum machine on, whatever I want. It's gonna be on there and it's solid. It's not going anywhere. Even if the stand is moving a little bit, this is solid. It's, it's, you can clamp it on the table, you can clamp it on the stand. It works really well. And of course, as always with liquid stands, I have a special Scott's and Stuff discount code for this or any liquid stands product. I will put it in the description below. If you click on that, it will take you to the liquid stand store and you can get your special discount. Honestly, I wish liquid stands had been around when I built this studio because a lot of this onstage stuff would not be here. I would, the onstage stands I have in here, I've cobbled together. I've done a lot of modifications to them, a lot of extra bracing and things to try to keep them stable because I've got a lot of expensive gear on them. I only wish that I'd known about and had liquid stands had products out that could have done all this. I have a feeling that in the future, my existing stands will be going away and be replaced with liquid stands just because I need a strong, trustworthy stand to hold my very expensive synthesizers and I don't want these falling off and falling down. So if you have any questions about liquid stands at all, leave them in the description below. The liquid stands guys are very responsive. They always come and check out these videos and answer questions. So if you have questions for them, hey, leave them here. They will be answered. Don't forget to check out the discount link. And if you like this video, click like on it, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. it really helps me out when you do that. Thanks for watching.